this shit! <laughs> this horribly unfunny episode of Triple THS is brought to you by DraftKings.com! Hey pussy, don't forget to leave that belt in my hotel room before the fight. John, who the fuck wears sunglasses indoors? Who the fuck does that? Are we in the Matrix, John? Are you about to free my mind like you're fucking Morpheus? Where's Agent Smith, John? Where's the spoon? You fucking douchebag. Respectfully, I wear sunglasses indoors to shield me from having to see your face full force, pussy. Okay, John Jones. You wear sunglasses indoors because you're a junky fucking loser bum. Not anymore, Daniel. But I was when I fucked you up the last time we fought. That's gotta sting so bad, knowing I beat you while I was fucking wrecking parties nightly. It doesn't sting as much as when you realize you're a 47-year-old man in 28-year-old's body, John. I don't understand what you mean. Are you saying that I'm like the movie Big with Tom Hanks? Woody from Toy Story wasn't a piece of shit, John. How dare you compare yourself to him? He was a fucking magical friend to Andy. You're the one that said I'm an older person trapped in a younger person's body. That is literally the movie Big. I'm saying you've been burning the candle at both ends for too long, John. You've been burning your candle, and now you're washed up when you should be in your prime. Do you even have a candle, Daniel? I got lots of candles, John. Don't worry about my candles. You have lots of candles? So are you saying you're actually a bunch of different smaller people that collectively make up Daniel Cormier? No, John. I'm saying, don't fucking worry about my candles. My candle's burning the right way because I lit it on one end. You dipped your fucking candle in gasoline and took a blowtorch to that motherfucker. That sounds like a pretty badass candle who could take down Olympians with ease. Okay, John Jones. That candle's gonna get fucked up Saturday night. How are you gonna fuck up my candle, Daniel? What are you gonna do with my candle? You can't even reach my candle. I'm gonna put it out, John. I'm gonna put your candle out. Okay, well, if we're still going by your analogy, my candle should be really difficult to put out considering it's literally on fire at all points. So you're saying that I'm harder to beat because I'm a fucking party animal. I'm a fucking fireproof blanket, John. I'ma smother your whole fucked up candle this weekend for five rounds. Five whole rounds, I'ma be putting on a fire safety clinic, John. What's changed since last time, Daniel? Are you any taller than last time? Because if you're not, I don't think I'm gonna have to worry. Last time I had the weight of the world on my shoulders, John. Every man, woman, and child coming up to me saying, beat John Jones. My whole camp was like that scene from Rocky where he's running and all the kids are following him. Daniel, beat John Jones for the kids. Beat John Jones for the elderly, Daniel. Beat John Jones for the squirrels and other woodland creatures, DC. So did all those people and creatures stop wanting you to beat me this time? No, fuck those squirrels. The only reason I'm kicking your ass this time is for me. I don't care if you're a piece of shit anymore, John. Go be a piece of shit. I don't even want to throw a shoe at your fucking face anymore. I don't even care if you take me down. I don't care if you tell me to suck it. DX suck it. I just want to win. That's all I care about now, John. Well, good luck with that, pussy. You think I'm just gonna sit here and let you wish me good luck in our fight, John? I literally think that's exactly what just happened. Okay, John Jones. You wish me luck. I just did. Okay, John. 